previously on Travels by Alex. I decided to take another small trip to visit one of my best friends in Serbia. Today, we're actually going to be leaving Belgrade and heading over to Niš, which is the third largest city in Serbia. We made it to Pirot, and our first stop here is this really cool old museum. Now we're going to go over and see the fortress. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Travels by Alex. I'm Alex and today we are continuing part three of my series. How's everyone doing today? It is officially day four of my time here in Serbia. I'm here with Jovana, say hello. Good morning guys. We are driving now to actually outside of Serbia. We're going to a nearby country, North Macedonia. And it's a country that neither Jovana or I have been to yet. We're currently driving to Skopje, which is one of the northmost cities in North Macedonia. And also a capital. And it's also the capital, which is why we wanted to see it. There are so many wonderful things we're going to be exploring there. So I can't wait to take you around on this part of my series, even though, again, we're not going to be in Serbia, but it's okay. I will be going back to Serbia tomorrow because that's going to be my last night there. And then I have to fly home back to New York, which is very heartbreaking. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you the sights right now. And I'll be back momentarily with more awesome footage. so we made it to North Macedonia we just crossed the border I've actually I don't remember ever crossing a border like that by car so this is the first time at least for me crossing a border and for me it was the first time that I'm driving and crossing crossing usually someone else drives so I just give my passport and don't deal with the car paperwork this is the first time I was dealing with car paper I was so nervous I gave the guy three times the wrong documents he's like why are you nervous calm down <laughs> I'm like, this is my first time crossing the border <laughs> So, it's quite an experience. So, I would say if you're crossing to another country, well, number one, bring your passport, right? Because you, otherwise you won't be able to come in. But one thing I also learned about is when you're leaving one country and going into another, you cross that border first, then there is a buffer zone, and then there is another border crossing that you have to go through. So, it's basically two security checkpoints. So, just when you're driving, bring your patience with you, just wait around for a little bit. But honestly, look, we are in North Macedonia. I am so excited. We're on our way now to pick up our keys to our Airbnb, and then we're gonna be showing you some really cool stuff around the neighborhood. So definitely keep watching. And this is which country of yours, like the new one, like number 19? This is number 19? Yeah, this is country number 19 for me. I and can't it's believe it. number 23 for me. That's right, so I'm catching up to her. We have now made it to Skopje, which is the capital of North Macedonia. What a beautiful place this is. It honestly reminded me a little bit of both Serbia and Greece. And it's interesting because it, North Macedonia is actually between Serbia and Greece. So if you watched all my videos up to this point, you may have seen some similarities between the two. Right now, we actually took a cable car all the way up to the top viewpoint. There is also a bus that can take you here. And once you're here at the top, you just take the gondola up for about 10 minutes and you'll have beautiful, beautiful views of Skopje. We have the, the city here. We have a lots of nature and trees. And of course, the North Macedonia flag behind me. It's so peaceful. There aren't that many people yet because the crowds haven't started. So definitely come here if you can. It is such a wonderful view. I'm going to go ahead and show you around the sites now.
But Jovana and I have now made it to Macedonia Square after having a really delicious and long overdue lunch. As you can see behind me, this is the monument of Alexander the Great. And basically there's so much great history here in this little area as well as the rest of the city of Skopje. I highly recommend coming here to Macedonia Square because there are so many cool statues around, a lot of monuments as well. It's gonna start pouring rain any second now. There's dark clouds coming here out of nowhere. So we're gonna try to find a little shelter right now, but I'll see what other clips I can show you in the meantime. Macedonia Square is a bustling hub of culture and history in Skopje, adorned with numerous statues, each depicting figures significant to Macedonian history and identity. It serves as an open-air museum for visitors to explore. The largest statue in the square, known as Warrior on a Horse, represents Alexander the Great a legendary Macedonian ruler celebrated for his military conquests. The controversial naming of the statue reflects differing interpretations of Alexander's historical legacy. After taking shelter from a rainstorm, we strolled through the bazaar as the sun set. As the day drew to a close, we ended our night with a leisurely walk across the Bridge of Art, marveling at the city's beauty illuminated against the night sky. Hey everybody, welcome back to day five. I'm here with Yovana this morning. We are driving back from North Macedonia. It was so much fun yesterday getting to hang out in Skopje, which is the capital of North Macedonia. It reminded me so much of Greece and Serbia mixed together. So it was nice to walk around and see things, especially all the statues. I know some people are like, why are there so many statues? I personally thought it was cool. But anyways, right now we're driving back to Belgrade. Tonight's my final night here, which I'm really sad about but it's okay. It was honestly one of the best trips I've had in my life. I got to go to Greece. I got to see my friends there from Iceland, had an amazing time there. Then I quickly hopped on a plane to Belgrade to see my wonderful friend Yamana over here for the second time in two years. How cool is that? So it was fun to hang out with her too. Got to see her friends, got to hang out with one of my friends slash coworkers as well. It was an amazing two weeks, and honestly, I can't wait for the next trip. There's going to be more. We all know it. Leave a comment below and let me know where in the Balkans next you'd like to see Yovana and I visit, or if there's another country in the world you want to see us look at, because we have a long list of countries out there that we want to see, so let me know. Maybe we'll pick the one that you tell us about. And then tomorrow, I'm back off to New York. So it's been an epic ride, but there's still so much great content coming your way. So keep watching and don't tune out and I'll be back shortly with more awesome footage. back to Belgrade for our final night here before I go home. We're at Knez Mihailo Street. We're gonna be having dinner with our wonderful friend Peja. He's back, who remembers him from part one of the series. You may also remember him from my part two Serbia series originally when I filmed this. We actually met here at Knez Mihailo Street, which I didn't realize until Jovana brought me here. And I was like, wait, I actually recognize this spot. This is where Peja started his tour with us two years ago. And here we are again, all these years later, having dinner together. It is amazing how fast time flies and the amount of friendships that you make traveling overseas. Anyways, we're gonna go have dinner, so I'll show you those clips shortly and I'll be back in a bit.
Well, everybody, we have made it now to the end of my series. I am on my way to the airport. I can't believe it. I am so sad that my trip is coming to an end. But I had such an amazing time here with my wonderful friend, Yomana, who's crying right now, too. If you've been watching the Grease series that I did with EF Ultimate Break, you can see all the fun footage and clips that I had there and all the great adventures. And then coming here to Serbia to see my wonderful friend, Yovana, after two years. I like this theme that we're doing, but now she has to come to New York to visit me. Yes. I'm sorry, like, he just cut me. He just cut me. Like, does he see that I'm going fast? Yeah, the traffic in Serbia is very interesting. People, like, try to overtake you on the road. There's a lot of that in the in the first Serbia series, so feel free to go back and watch those. But I want to just thank all of you for coming and tuning in, watching my new videos, for leaving comments, for liking them, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I read all the comments, and I'm just grateful that you take the time out of your busy schedules to watch my episodes that I keep airing here on YouTube. And I'm very excited to continue seeing where this channel is going. The next videos on this channel are actually going to be all about New York, most likely. I would love to take you around my city because I feel like I live in New York, but I haven't really posted many videos in New York lately because I've just been traveling internationally. So now's the time to kind of return to my roots and show you wonderful things in New York. So with that said, leave a comment below and let me know what part of New York City you would like to see me show you. I really want to hear your input. If you have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and also hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that way you're notified every time a new video is posted to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you on the next adventure. How's everyone doing today? It is officially day four of my trip here, day five. I came here Monday, right? So, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you around right now. There's lots of bugs here. Hey everybody, so we have made it now to Mas Max. Uh, Yovan and I are seeing so many things. I wanna also show you the flag of Macedonia right in uh, North Macedonia. But anyways, right now we're heading back to Belgrade. We're gonna be meeting up with Yovana's family a little later today. And then we're gonna have a final dinner with our friend Peja and Lajko, who you saw in, I believe the part one video. Part one? Yeah, part one. You saw them in part one. And then coming here to Serbia to once again see my wonderful friend. I gotta film that again. It's Knez Mihailo Street, so frame it a little bit. Okay, I'll see how it Don't hide behind me. Don't hide behind you, right? <laughs> okay, Yona, where are we going? And he walked behind me. I, you saw that he was walking behind me for five days now. You heard it. You heard it. I yes. Know. Look, look who was able to join us. Pedro, remember him guys, from, from, what was it? That was two years ago when we met that. Back. No, no, Anyways, no. all right, I'll do that again. This is what, what you get when YouTuber <laughs> wants to record with serves on a Saturday night. <laughs> all right, I'll do it again. I think okay. it would be better if you go to the bottom. Are serious? Again, everybody take a deep breath. Well, he take a deep breath. Now I'm not going to be serious for sure. Please, and then okay, make, okay. okay. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that way you're notified every single time a new video is posted here. Be I'll be sure back shortly. All of all of Seriously, all of that. And watch the video from start to finish too. It really helps the algorithm. Two times. Twice. Yes, two, three times on your TV, on your phone, on your iPad, everywhere. Everyone's laughing because they're... they're... I'm sorry, he said hi too many times. <laughs>